<laughs> Posing for the cameras. You want to turn around here? The Environment Minister was hands on for his first visit to Green Island. Yeah, hold it, hold it. Only this salty was in no mood for a happy snap. Hold the tail, hold the tail. Right over there. Oh! oh. 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 The trio were left shaken, but for the most part, unscathed. <laughs> Nothing compared to the predators in Parliament, though. At sea, Josh Frydenberg was the predator, hunting the crown of thorns starfish. It's one of the most fertile animals on the planet, capable of producing up to 60 million eggs. Divers in charge of protecting the reef spend 240 days a year spearing tens of thousands of starfish with a fatal injection of ox bile. They're very difficult to find. Quite often they're down in between the reef matrix, underneath coral and inside holes and things. The chair of the reef's marine park authority says much of the eradication program has focused on tourism destinations off Cairns and Port Douglas. But the native pest is moving south. Uh, it hasn't come from Mars. It's a natural predator of coral. It's now occurring in huge numbers because of excess nutrients. An extra $6 million has been allocated to keep the reef healthy, including a second boat to eradicate the crown of thorns. Scientists have found the amount of coral on the reef has halved over 30 years, with the biggest killer, the crown of thorns starfish. But there are other more difficult threats to manage, like tropical cyclones, coral bleaching and water quality. The reef is surprisingly resilient. It's facing a lot of threats, and the problem that the reef has is it faces all those threats at once. And as this crocodile proves, our national icons can put up a fight. Lauren Ginoli, Nine News.